Hey guys, I, I'm Ricky Rainey. I've had some questions about some of my rabbit traps. So what I'm going to try to do is make a little how-to video, how to build them. Uh, I'm not saying they're better than anybody else's. They work for me. I got confidence in them. And confidence means a lot. Uh, these traps are box traps. I've, uh, they, they have no wire on them. The reason I don't put wire on a trap is every time I've used a trap with wire on it, I go to it and find a rabbit with a bloody nose. So I don't use wire on these traps. These are, are completely box traps. They have to be, the wood has to be set out and be weathered a little bit before you can get a rabbit in them. And most of the time you need a colder night to get a rabbit in them. But we're going to, I'm going to try to show you how I put them together, what they are, and they work for me, they should work for you too. So, first of all, this is the trap. It's, uh, it's just a simple box trap. I use PVC up here for the trigger. I've caught many, many rabbits in it. They, uh, they go, I, I've never had a problem catching rabbits in those traps. And they're simple to make, they're easy, they're cheap. Uh, each trap's made out of one, one by six, eight foot long. It's got two 12 inch, one by twos on it. An eight inch piece of PVC and a 13 inch piece of PVC and a 3 8 dowel for the trigger stick. I'm going to try to assemble one, let you look at it, and see how it goes together. Hopefully it'll help you guys out. Maybe you can make your own. Let me know what you think. First of all, this is the bottom. This bottom is 21 inches long. I've got three holes on each side pre-drilled with uh, number nine by two and a half inch decking screws. In order to put this together, well, you have to have the drill ready first. pretty much your box just about made already. Here's the back. This is a seven inch piece of uh, one by six. This is 20 inch, 20 inch, 21 inch, seven inch, and the remainder of an eight foot piece of one by six is right here for the door. I see I had a screw that run out. I'm going to take it out and redo it. back on. Okay, the box is almost complete now. All we need is the door and the top. The top is another 20 inch piece of 1x6. 8 inches from the front is a quarter inch hole drilled in it. 4 inches from the back is a 7 8 inch hole drilled with a paddle bit. That's for your trigger stick. Put this on top. Well, let me hold on just a second before I do that. In this quarter inch hole, 
I've got a quarter inch bolt, probably an inch and a half long. And right here is a three quarter inch PVC pipe cap. It's the type that's flat on the back. They're kind of difficult to find, but I found these at a hardware store and I bought a dozen of them for 50 cent a piece. Drilled a quarter inch hole in it. It sits over the bolt. And then I have to play with getting the nut started. Nut started. I've got a wrench and seven sixteenth socket, and we're gonna tighten this up on this on this board. probably inch and a half long and it's got one of those little nylon nuts on it nut with a little nylon insert so it doesn't uh, come out it kind of it locks it in place now I'm gonna screw the top on and then we'll get on with the door again these are number nine by two and a half inch deck screws box of these will make a bunch of traps. shape. Now I lay it on its side. This is a 1 by 2 12 inches long. It's got a quarter inch hole drilled a half inch from the end of it. At 10 inches from the front of the box on the top board I'm going to put a screw to secure this. This screw does not go in tight. It stays loose. Same thing on the other side. You'll notice I've already kind of pre-drilled holes for the sake of time. And I've already marked holes for the sake of time. Now all we've got to do is attach the door. This is the remaining piece of the 1x6. Sits like so, but it doesn't sit tight. Take a piece of cardboard off a cardboard box and use it as a spacer. There's a reason. I want a little bit of slop in this door, a little, little space. That way if the wood gets wet, swells, things don't stick, things work a lot better. But what I'm going to do, is I am going to measure. three and a half inches and four inches and that's where I'm going to put this board so that I can put two screws in it. The four inch mark is at the top of this board that's running at an angle. Now I'm going to pre-drill a couple of holes. Same screws, same deck screws, 
what we're going to do is we're going to just start those in that hole. They're not going to go all the way through. They're just started. Now, we need a spacer between this arm and the door. What we're going to do for a spacer is quarter inch nuts. We're going to put one between the screw, to, between each screw and the door. So I lay them in place. And now I screw them on down and secure them. Same thing over here. On this side, I'm going to measure four, three and a half. Top of the board is going to be at four. Two more quarter inch nuts are going between the, the arm and the door. And I know where they go since I pre-drilled pre the holes. Now I just run these screws on in tight. These doors, arms on the side. Make sure they're good and loose. There's your door. It will work. First time, every time. All right, now we go to the trigger part. This is an eight inch piece of three quarter inch PVC with a notch cut in it. I did it with a sawzall, put it in a vise, cut this notch. My vise, I couldn't show it because my vise doesn't have enough light for you to see it. But simply all it is is a notch in the end of the pipe. Now, this goes in, pipe cap, and I do not glue it. If you glue it, you can't get back to it if something breaks. What I do is I use a 5 16 self-tapping screw and I run it in the side of it. It holds everything in place. Alright, there's one more thing I try to do. That upright pipe will collect water if it rains. So I punch a few holes in it around the bottom here so water can drain out. Just with a little eighth inch drill bit. And that keeps water from dripping out of it, from collecting in it, possibly freezing. It just lets the water drain out if it rains. The next thing to do, 13 inch piece of PVC pipe, hole drilled through it, completely through it, nylon string run through the hole, uh, the length, doesn't matter, 
let it hang down six or eight inches out of it. This is a trigger stick. It's a seven inch piece of three eighths inch dowel, four inches from the bottom of it to the bottom of the notch. About a half inch from this end of it is an eighth inch hole drilled through it so that you can put a string through it. We're gonna put it on and uh, this trap should be done. First thing I'm going to tie the ends of this, this string together. Then we'll make a loop and loop it over a screw that's screwed into the top of the door about a quarter inch of the screws left sticking out. Now, I've got to set my trigger stick. I got a rough idea that this is close enough, so I'm going to just tie a knot. And I'm going to trim off the excess. And this rabbit trap's ready to go to the, ready to go to the woods. It will loosen up a little bit. There you go. All right. Before that trap's used, it needs to sit out in the weather and age. It needs to be, the door needs to be open so it, the sun can bleach it inside, water, rain can rain in it, and it needs to age and look weathered. When I bait these traps, I use an apple, I cut it into eight pieces. I take one slice, I rub the side, the bottom, and the other side, throw the slice to the back of the trap and set it. That's all I do. Eight pieces, I set eight traps. It's a numbers game when you're dealing with, when you're dealing with uh, trapping rabbits. You set one trap, you may catch one in two weeks. You set a dozen traps, you should have a regular supply of rabbits going into your rabbit pen for beagle training. Guys, I hope this helps. I hope you uh, it works out for you. If you need anything, get in touch with me on Facebook uh, under Ricky Rainey. It's a little beagle picture. Uh, I'll give you my phone number. You can call me. I'll help you in any way I can. Best of luck hunting. Best of luck with your dogs. Best of luck trapping rabbits.